Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little jacket for little girls between 18 and 24 months. It's very easy to make. I've made my little jacket using light number three baby yarn and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I used about 205 grams of light number three baby yarn. When I showed you my last tutorial, I got lots of messages asking me to make it a bit smaller so here it is now this one here is a bit different especially around the yoke and around the cuffs here it's totally different but I think it looks just as pretty now you can also make this little jacket smaller for a baby between 9 and 12 months and bigger for little girls between 5 and 6 years old it's just a matter of changing your hook size and the yarn down here in the information box I'll leave you that information so be sure to check that out also towards the end of the tutorial I give you the measurements of the finished jacket so be sure to also check that out okay so without further say let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn down here in the information box I'll leave a link for you to see what yarn I'm using and a link to where you can purchase the hooks as well okay so to begin I have 67 chains this chain here measures 17 inches which is about 43 centimeters the stitch multiple to our base chain is multiples of three plus one okay so to begin on the second chain from the hook one two I'm going to make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next chain and so on for this first row all we're going to do are these single crochets on each one of the chains at the end of this first row you're going to have a total of 66 single crochets so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of the first row to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 66 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do are V stitches. So beginning into the third single crochet, one, two, three, I'm going to make my first V stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Skip two single crochets, one, two, and into the third, single crochet make your next V stitch so double crochet two chains double crochet now skip two single crochets one two and into the third make your next V stitch continue like this all the way to the end of the second row I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of the second row I have a total of 21 V stitches now to finish we're going to skip one two and into this last single crochet we're going to make a double crochet and this is how we finish the second row now for the third row chain three and turn inside each one of these V stitches we're going to make two double crochets chain one two double crochets jump to the next V stitch inside the chain one space make two double crochets chain one two double crochets this is all we're going to do for this third row so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this third row I have 21 fans now to finish here we're going to pinch the second chain at the end and make a double crochet and this is how we finish this third row now for the fourth row chain three and turn in this row what we're going to do is inside each one of these fans we're going to make two double crochets two chains two double crochets jump to the next fan and do the same thing two double crochets two chains two double crochets continue like this for this fourth row I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this fourth row now to finish we're going to make a double crochet here at the end so we're going to pinch the second chain and then make a double crochet this is how we finish this fourth row with a total of 21 fans now for the fifth row we're going to chain three and turn in this row we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to make inside each one of these fans two double crochets two chains two double crochets 
jump to the next fan and do the exact same thing. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now to finish, we're going to pinch this second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the fifth row. Now for the sixth row, chain three and turn. Now, what we're going to do here is inside this first fan, we're going to make our first fan. So two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now, before we jump to the next fan, you're going to chain one and then now go into the next fan and make your next fan. So two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. So the only difference in this row is that we're going to make one chain between each fan. So chain one and then jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Now to finish, we're going to pinch this second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this row. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, into this first fan, we're going to make a fan. So two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now here, between each one of these fans, right in the middle, we have this chain here. So in there, you're going to also make a fan. So insert your hook there and make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now jump to the next fan here and make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And again, between each fan, right in the middle, make your next fan. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for this row. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I have a total of 41 fans for this row. Now to finish, we're going to pinch this second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the seventh row. Now for the eighth row, we're going to chain one and turn. On top of this first double crochet, we're going to make a single crochet. Chain two, inside this chain two space, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet into the same space. Chain two, between each fan, right in the middle right here, make one single crochet, two chains, and then again inside this next fan make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet into the same space, two chains, single crochet between the two fans, right there. And then again you're going to repeat the same thing, two chains, single crochet inside the space of the next fan, three chains, single crochet inside the same space, two chains, single crochet between the fans. And this is all we're going to do for this row and this is what it looks like. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. I have my last two chains. Now we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a single crochet. Now I've cut my yarn, so pass your yarn through this last loop and this part here is done. Now I had already recorded something different here, but I didn't like it, it was a bit too bulky, so um, we're going to do something different. So we're going to go to the other end, here, right here, and into this single crochet space here, I'm going to insert this hook. This is a four millimeter crochet hook, so insert your hook there, and I'm going to use this purple um, yarn. It's a light number three as well, so just bring it through the front like this and make one chain. Now into the same stitch here, make a single crochet, chain two, and into this chain three space, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. It's almost the same thing we just did, but um, we're going to do something differently here. So chain two, and notice we have two chain two spaces now. So into the first chain two space, make a single crochet, two chains. Into the next chain two space, make a single crochet, chain two, and inside the chain three space, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch here, or into the same space. And then from here is the same thing. So two chains, single crochet into the first chain two space, 
two chains, single crochet into the next chain two space, two chains, single crochet inside the chain three space, three chains, and then single crochet again into the same space here. And this is all we're going to do. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have my last two chains and to finish, just go here to the top of this single crochet here at the end and make a single crochet. Pass your yarn through this last loop. I've already cut my yarn and this part here is done and this is what it looks like. Now, from here on, we're going to continue um, doing this part under here where we do the, the fans. Um, but you will notice that the this part here is a bit different. That's what I changed. Um, I really didn't like how it looked. It was a bit too bulky and um, so I've decided to change it. So the next part that continues is this part here. So it's going to be the same for everything. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this side, same side where we finished, but um, here on the wrong side. So beginning here, what we're going to do here is into the fourth row of fans, one, two, three, four, into this fourth row of fans, we're going to make fans right here where we have the two chains and then in between each fan, so right here. So beginning here on the side, this is one, two, three, four, the fourth row right there, insert your hook here. We're going to start using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook again so now here I have my main color ready, pull this loop and chain one. Now, like I said, we're going to make fans, so pull these two stitches here to the side and right in between into the chain two space, you're going to make your first fan. So two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. Now jump to this space between the two fans right there and make your next fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan, open this up, this part here and in between here inside the chain two space, make your next fan. So double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. And then jump to the next space between the fans, so right here, and make your next fan. This is all I'm going to do for this row, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. And this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I forgot to tell you that we're going to start counting rows. So this is row one. And at the end of this first row, I have a total of 41 fans. Now to finish, we're going to go here, um, right here, right on top of this double crochet. So insert your, your hook right there like this and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this first row with 41 fans. Now for the second row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now what we're going to do in this row is we're going to work fans inside each one of these fans. So to begin inside this first one, you're going to go in and make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this for this second row. At the end of this row, you're going to have 41 fans. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 41 fans. What I'm going to do here, go to the top of this first double crochet. See, we have four double crochets. So on top of this last double crochet here and make my double crochet there. Okay, so now for the third row, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and turn. Here we're going to make 20 double crochets and then we're going to work a, a reduction. So into this first fan, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Then jump to the next and do the same thing. Continue like this until you have 20 fans and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 20 fans. Now into this next fan, this is fan number 21, we're going to work a double crochet. 
Then we're going to jump to the next fan and make our normal fan of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now from here on, we're going to continue just making these fans until you finish this row. At the end of this third row, you should have a total of 40 fans. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 40 fans now. Now to finish this row and all the rows that follow, we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish this third row. Now for rows four and five, you're going to chain three and turn. Now here, we're not going to make any more reductions. All we're going to do are fans inside each one of these fans. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. You're going to continue like this until you come here to the end for this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to pinch the second chain here and make a double crochet at the end, then chain three and turn, and for your fifth row, you're going to do the exact same thing, fans. I'll meet you at the end of the fifth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth row, one, two, three, four. I know I told you to do five, but I'm only going to do four. Um, I don't want this to be too long, so um, I think with four is more than enough to now divide the sleeves. So here, what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to divide our sleeves, but first we're going to finish this row. So pinch the second chain here at the end, and this is how I finish the fourth row with a total of 20 fans. Now, for the next row, to divide the sleeves, we're going to chain three and turn. Now here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to work these five fans, so beginning on inside this first one, you're going to make a fan of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, continue like this until you have a total of five fans, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these five fans, one, two, three, four, five, now I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and into the eleventh fan, I'm going to make my next fan. So here you're going to make two double crochets. One, two, chain one, two double crochets. Now here I'm only going to make four chains under the sleeve because um, this is the right amount of chains that I need for the size that I'm making, but if you want to make more, you can, um, so that this part here is nice and loose under the sleeve. So make sure that the chains here that we made are enough for the size that you're making. And now here you're just going to continue along and finish um, and make these 10 fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll meet you here to show you again how we're going to divide the other sleeve. Okay, I finished making these 10 fans, now we're going to chain four, Skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and into the eleventh fan, make your fan here. So two double crochets, one, two, chain one, two double crochets. And this is how we're going to, to divide the other sleeve. Now continue making these fans. I'll meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I forgot to mention at the beginning um, that we're going to start counting rows. So this is row one. This is where we just divided our sleeves. Okay, so now to finish this first row, we're going to go here to the end where we have these chains, pinch the second chain and make a double crochet here at the end. And this is how I finish this first row with a total of 20 fans. Now for the second row, we're going to chain three and turn. Here we're going to make these um, five fans, so beginning Inside this first one, you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, continue like this, finish making these fans, and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these five fans. Now what we're going to do here under the sleeve where we have these four chains and on the other side is into the first chain, we're going to make a fan. So pinch your first chain and make two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. Okay, now skip one, two, and into the last chain. Here, make your next fan. So here we're going to make two, two fans under the sleeve. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. 
you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And this is what it looks like. Now, jump to this first fan on this side here and continue making these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so finish making these 10 fans and when you come here to the to the four chains here, you're going to do the exact same thing. A fan into the first chain and a fan into the last chain and then continue and finish this row. I'll meet you here at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 24 fans. Now to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make these five fans. So inside this first one, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, continue making these fans. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this five fans. Now what I'm going to do is, here's the first fan that we have um, under this leaf. We have two. So between this first one and this last fan here for this side, right in between we're going to make a v-stitch so double crochet chain one double crochet now jump to the first fan here and make a normal fan of two double crochets chain one two double crochets and then we have the second fan here under the sleeve and do the same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets and now here we have the first fan for this back side and this fan here where it just made this fan. So right in between, make a V-stitch. Now I'm making these V-stitches so that in the next row when we come back, we're going to make fans into these V-stitches. So that way we have um, we make an increase. And now here we're just going to continue along and make these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, so continue like this until you come to the this other end right here where we have the two fans under the sleeve. You're going to make a V-stitch between these two, make a fan, a fan, and then a V-stitch between these next two, and then finish this row. I will meet you here at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row and I have a total of 24 fans plus four V-stitches. Two on this side and then two on the other side. Now to finish this third row, we're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the third row. Now for the fourth row, chain three and turn. Here we're going to make these five fans. So continue and make these five fans and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these five fans. Now here what we're going to do is we have this V-stitch. So inside this V-stitch, you're going to make a normal fan of two double crochets chain one, two double crochets. Okay, and then we have the next two fans. Same thing, we're going to work if a fan of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next and do the same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And now we have the next V-stitch. So inside this V-stitch, you're going to make a normal fan again. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then continue along and make your normal fan into the next fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. From here on, you're just going to continue and do your normal fans. And this is what it looks like, see? Into the V-stitch, we did a fan, fan, fan and we have the v-stitch we did a fan so continue making fans for this back side and then when you come here to this other end under the sleeve inside this v-stitch you're going to make a fan 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 into the next v-stitch and then finish this fourth row i'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row and I have a total of 28 fans. Now from here on, you're always going to have that same number of fans, which is 28 at the end of every row. Now to finish this fourth row, you're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the fourth row. Now for the fifth row, you're going to chain three and turn. In this row, all we're going to make are these fans, so make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this fifth row. We're going to make fans until you come here to the very end. At the end, you're going to have 28 fans, so I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 28 fans. Now, to finish this row and all the rows that follow, you're going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish this fifth row. Now, for the sixth row and all the rows that follow, you're going to chain three and turn. Here, all we're going to do for each one of these rows are these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. We're going to do exactly what we did on the fifth row, just like this. Now, when you come here to the end, you're going to pinch the second chain, chain three and turn and repeat the same row. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but um, continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 17th row, so I did from the first row here where we divided the sleeve up to this last one, I have 17 rows and it measures. From the top of the neckline, let's see down to the last row, it's about 13 inches, which is about 33 centimeters. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, um, if you want to make this longer, you can, I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so here, we're going to chain one, then turn, and on top of this first double crochet, make one single crochet, chain two, inside the chain one space of this first fan, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch, chain two, single crochet between the fans, so right there. Again, chain two, single crochet inside the chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch or into the same space, and then again, chain two, single crochet between the two fans, and then continue with the same thing. Two chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet, and so on. Continue like this until the end, to the end here. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. I have two chains here at the end. We're going to pinch the second chain and make a single crochet here at the end. Now I've cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make one more row. So here we're going to use a four millimeter crochet hook. So insert your hook here into this same single crochet we just did here at the end. Grab this loop in this color purple for me. Bring it through the front and chain one. Now turn. Now into the same stitch here, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now here, we have this second row of fans, so we're going to move these stitches here and into this chain one space of this fan, you're going to insert your hook there and make a fan of two double crochets, one, two, two chains, two double crochets. Okay, now go to the next fan, same thing. Move these stitches and right in the middle right there, insert your hook and make your next fan. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Now this is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Now to finish, we're going to go here to where we have this single crochet at the end and make a single crochet. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now into this same single crochet here, we're going to make a single crochet. Now chain two and inside this chain three space here and in the back through the two chains, insert your hook and make a single crochet, three chains and then into the same stitch here back again single crochet. It's the same thing we did here when we did these 
um, fans here. So again, chain two, and in the back, we have the purple fan, so right between the two, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Again, chain two, insert your hook through the three chains and the two chains in the back, and make a single crochet. Three chains, single crochet into the same space here. Chain two, and single crochet between the two fans in the back. Okay, and this is all we're going to do. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have two chains now to finish. We're going to go to the top of this single crochet here at the end and make a single crochet. I've cut my yarn, so pass your yarn through this past loop and this part here is done. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so now to continue, what we're going to do here is um, we have this single crochet that we just did. So we're going to go back to the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and insert our hook here on top of this single crochet. We're going to grab a loop in this color lavender or lilac, bring it through the front like this and chain one. Now into this same stitch here, we're going to make a single crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet here and a single crochet into this last single crochet here. So we have three single crochets. Now, inside each one of these spaces, we're going to make two single crochets. One, two, jump to the next, one, two, jump to the next and make two single crochets. This is all we're going to do, so continue like this and I'll meet you um, right about here. This is maybe the the second space counting down, one, two. So right about here to show you uh, how to work this part up here. Um, we're going to make sure to grab this fan so that it's not flopping all around. Um, so I'll meet you around, right around here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the top. Up to here I have 41 stitches and I still have these last two spaces. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to insert our hook here through this um, single crochet here at the end and then into the space between this space and the space where I just finished making my two single crochets. So right there, right in the very center, we're going to make one single crochet there. And now you see the two spaces there that align with the fan. So here we're only going to make two single crochets into the next space, make two single crochets. And now we're just going to continue and finish making these stitches of two single crochets into each one of these spaces. Okay, so this is my last space. Then we have the row of single crochets, make one single crochet there, and then we have the row of chains. So into this last uh, chain space there, you're going to make two single crochets. Okay, so now we're going to go around the neckline and we're going to reduce it a bit. Um, here we're going to make four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And now into the next two stitches, you're going to go in, grab a loop, into the next, go in and grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Now again, we're going to make four single crochets. One two, three, four, and into the next two stitches, insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, three loops, close. One thing, if you don't want to make these reductions to reduce the neckline, you don't have to. Um, for the size that I'm making it, I need, I need to make these reductions. So um, I'm going to continue with the same thing of making four single crochets and into the next two a, a stitch reduction. That's all I'm going to do all around the neckline, so I'll meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next. Finish making these single crochets around the collar, now here into this very last stitch here, I'm going to make two single crochets into that very same space there. Now we have the row of single crochets, make one single crochet there, and now here we're just going to make two single crochets into each one of these spaces. Okay, and now here we're going to make sure to also grab the, 
the fan when we do these single crochets. So one and two, and then we have one and two. And here I'm just going to continue along and work single crochets inside each one of these spaces. So two single crochets for each one. And this is all we're going to do. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so continue like this and I will we'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here I just did my last single crochet, then cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. Now we're going to go back, but we're going to change um, yarn color. So here I'm going to go back and use this purple. So grab this loop like this, bring it through the front and chain one. Now turn and into this first single crochet, make your first single crochet, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, and so on. This is all we're going to do, just single crochets. I'll meet you here at the, at the top of the neckline to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the very top into this very corner stitch. I'm going to make two single crochets. And now I'm just going to continue along just making single crochets. Um, all along the neckline when you come here to this other end you're going to also make two single crochets and then continue along this part so I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the very end now here into this very corner stitch I'm going to make two single crochets I have this stitch here at the very end that's in this color lilac and I don't want it to show so I'm going to make two single crochets there then we're going to jump to this um, chain two space and make a slip stitch now here we're going to chain one turn and make your first single crochet into this first single crochet here and then a single crochet into the next single crochet into the next and so on and then this is what it looks like now continue along making single crochets for this part here when you come here to the top of the neckline you're going to make two single crochets into this very corner stitch then continue along the neckline when you come here to the other side of the neckline again you're going to make two single crochets and then you work your way down until you come here to the end I will meet you here on this side to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at this other end now into this last stitch here. I'm going to make two single crochets and now we're going to jump to this chain two space and make a slip stitch. And this is how we're going to, going to work this part here. I just don't want this stitch here to show. Now chain one, turn, and now skip this single crochet and into the single crochet we did here at the very corner. Make your first single crochet and then continue along just making single crochets all the way to the top just like this okay so you're going to make single crochets along this side here when you come here to the top of the neckline you're going to do two single crochets into the very corner stitch then continue along the neckline um, to this other end I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at this other end of the collar. Now on this side here, we're going to make our buttonholes. Now to do this, I did two single crochets into this very corner stitch. Then I'm going to now chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next, I'm going to make a single crochet. And here's my first buttonhole. I'm going to be using these buttonholes, which are very small. So one um, chain here is more than enough. If you're going to be using bigger um, buttons, make sure that this um, base here that we just did is enough for the buttons that you're going to use. Okay, so now from here on, I'm going to make eight single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here I'm going to make my next buttonhole. So chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next, make your single crochet. Now again, I'm going to make eight single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain one, skip one single crochet, and into the next one single crochet. Now from here on, I'm just going to make these single crochets here all the way to the end. Um, if you want to add more buttonholes, you would just do it in the same way that I just showed you. Okay, so once you get here to the end, you're just going to make 
your last single crochet then chain one and turn and make your first single crochet into that last stitch continue along this part and I will meet you here where we have this first um, buttonhole okay I finished making these single crochets here at the end I just chain one and turned and then now I'm here this is the first chain one space for my um, buttonhole so into this space here I'm going to make one single crochet now if you did more than one chain then you would do two or three single crochets depending the number of chains that you did now here I'm just going to continue along all the way to the top just making these single crochets um, here at the top you're just going to make two single crochets into this very corner stitch then go around the neckline when you come here to this other end again into the very corner stitch you're going to make two single crochets and continue along this side here I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end all I did here was I made my last single crochet then I did a slip stitch into the stitch that was next to it and this part here is done and this is what it looks like now um, so we finished making this part here all we have to do is just hide our ends I added my buttons to mine and this is what it looks like so far so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our sleeves so I'm going to start on this side and I'm only going to show you this once because it's exactly the same way um, how it's going to be done on this other side so here we're going to go under this sleeve we have these two fans so right in between insert your hook and we're going to use the same hook we've been using the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook um, now bring this loop through the front chain three one two three and now we're going to go to this corner see we have the fan and right here into this gap right there we're going to make our first fan so make two double crochets one chain two double crochets now we're going to make our next fan here but in between there's going to be a gap so now um, so that we don't have a gap here we're going to yarn over insert your hook right here into the very center of this fan grab a loop take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into this first fan now grab a loop take two loops off I have three loops on my hook close okay so now I have my first double crochet for this fan here so now I'm going to make one more double crochet chain one and then two double crochets and then from here on we're just going to continue around the sleeve making these fans of two double crochets chain one two double crochets all around I will meet you here on this other side to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at this other end of the sleeve up to here I have 11 fans but notice that this last double crochet I haven't closed it and that is because here we're going to do exactly um, what we did here when we started um, here we're going to yarn over again I have two loops on my hook because I haven't closed that double crochet so yarn over now insert your hook into this fan here see inside that space go in grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook now close and now here we're going to make one more fan and this is where we're going to make it see we have the two fans right in the very center so right here into this very corner we're going to make two double crochets chain one two double crochets and now I have a total of 12 fans all around now to finish this first row go here to the side of the three chains and make a slip stitch and this is how I finished the first row with a total of 12 fans now for the next row we're going to chain three and turn one thing before we turn now in the next row I'm going to reduce these two fans here now you may ask why did I make them if I'm going to reduce them in the next row um, I just wanted to do them um, so that we have a continuous round of fans and then we have these double crochets on top of them I think it looks a lot better than just doing double crochets and then having a big gap in between so I'm going to do it this way another thing is that make sure that the um, reductions that we're going to do here is necessary for the size that you're making it I'm making this um, for the smaller size so I'm going to reduce it here now I'm going to turn so here I'm going to reduce this first fan so now yarn over insert your hook into this fan grab a loop take two loops off two loops on the hook yarn over insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook 
close. And now here we're going to complete this fan, so make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. From here on, you're just going to make fans all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to reduce that last fan. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Up to here, I have 10 fans. Um, I have this last fan here to finish this row. So here into this last fan, what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and insert our hook here into this fan and make a double crochet. And now to finish this row, we're going to go here to the side where we have the three chains and make a slip stitch. Now this is how we finish the second row with a total of 10 fans. Now from here on, that's the number of fans that I'm going to have since I'm not going to make any more reductions. But if you're going to make any more reductions, um, you would do them exactly how I showed you. So you would just reduce these here to the side. Okay, so now for the third row, you're going to chain three and turn. Now this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on if you're not making any more reductions. So here into this first fan here, we're going to make our first fan for this third row. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this all around for this row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this row and then show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row and I have a total of 10 fans up to here. Now to finish this row and all the rows that follow, we're going to go here to the side where we have the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how you're going to finish this row and all the rows to follow. Now from here on, you're going to repeat this last row. So chain three and turn. Now for every row, you're going to turn. So now here inside each one of these fans, you're going to make these fans of two double crochets chain one, two double crochets. So continue like this, just making fans all around for this row. When you come here to the end, you're going to make a slip stitch right here, chain three and turn and repeat the same row. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll let you know here. So I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 15th row and it measures from under the sleeve up to this last row, it's measuring about seven inches, which is about 18 centimeters. Um, one thing here, um, I finished the other side and this is what it looks like. Now, I like how this sleeve looks um, when you fold it here at the end. Now, if you prefer your sleeve um, like this without folding, then only make 14 rows. Um, I did 15 rows here, and as you can see, it's a bit long. So only do 14 rows if you plan um, on having it like this without folding. I'm going to fold mine, so here, that's why I did 15 rows. Okay, so now for row 16, we're going to chain three and turn. Now inside each one of these fans, we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Continue like this all around and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 16th row. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row of three double crochets on each one of the fans all around. Now for the next row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make single crochets um, on top of each one of these double crochets. So let me show you. Here we're going to start into this first double crochet, make one single crochet, single crochet into the next, and so on. This is all we're going to do on each one of the double crochets. At the end, when you're done, you're going to come here to the end right here, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then make your first slip stitch into that same stitch and then continue for one more row. We're going to do a total of two rows. This is row one, so finish this row and then make one more row and I'll meet you at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row of single crochets all around. Now, I have a total of 31 single crochets. Now, if you have um, less or more one or two stitches, it's okay. Um, just join here to the beginning with a slip stitch. And now that's how I finish this row. Now for the next row, we're going to chain three and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, make your next fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now again, skip one, one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, make your next fan. This is all we're going to do all around, so continue like this, and I'll meet you um, here at the end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of fans. Now, I only have two single crochets here in between this fan and this fan, so it's okay. All we're going to do is to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch, and this is how we finish this row. Now, for the next row, you're going to chain two, and inside this first chain one space, we're going to make a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet back into the same stitch here, chain two, single crochet in the middle between these two fans right there. Again, two chains, single crochet inside the chain one space of this fan, three chains, single crochet again into the same space, two chains, single crochet between these two fans. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have my last two chains. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a single crochet between these two fans right there. Now we're going to make a slip stitch right here. Just insert your hook where we have these two chains, grab a loop, and then pass this yarn through this last stitch. And this is how we're going to finish this row here. Now, for the next row, I'm going to use this purple color. So insert your hook here right on top of this single crochet that we just did right there. Grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and then into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now here, what we're going to do is, this is probably going to slip a little, but it's okay, just pull on it and it should close back again. Now, chain two, and now into this chain two space right there, make a single crochet, chain two, and now insert your hook into this chain three space and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the same space here, chain two, single crochet inside this chain two space, chain two, single crochet inside the next chain two space, chain two, and inside this chain three space make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet into this first chain two space, chain two, single crochet into the next chain two sp space, and so on. See, this is all we're going to do all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this part here. Here I just did my last two chains, then I join here to the beginning where I have the single crochet that we did with a slip stitch. Cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done, and this is what it looks like. Now, remember that if you're going to do the sleeve where you're going to fold it, we did 15 rows. If you're going to do the sleeve where you're not going to fold it, then only do 14 rows and then continue with the rest, which is the two rows of single crochets, then this fan row, and then these last two rows. Okay, so um, this part here is done, and my baby jacket is done. Here's the other sleeve. That's what it looks like. Okay, so now let me give you the measurements. From the top of the neckline down to the sleeve without folding, down to the very end right here, it measures 14 and a half inches, which is about 37 centimeters. From under the sleeve right here up to this part here where we have these two single crochet rows, it measures seven and a half inches, which is about 19 centimeters. And it's got a circumference. I measured it all around and it measures nine and a half inches, which is about 24 centimeters. Now from the top of the neckline down to this part here, it measures 15 and a half inches, which is about 39 centimeters. Now around the waist, all around this part here, it measures 23 and a half inches, which is about 60 centimeters. And around the neckline, all around the neckline, it measures 14 inches, which is about 36 centimeters. Okay, and those are your measurements. Now, I used 170 grams um, in this, uh, of yarn in this lilac color, and then I used 35 grams um, for the purple color. So in total, 205 grams of yarn. Okay, so here's our finished baby jacket. It's all done. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.